All right, everyone. When I was editing this video, I noticed Heath saying all right quite a bit. I also said all right when I was doing the interviews. So we thought it'd be fun to see who can comment the correct number of all rights that we say in this video. And on September 1st, we'll do a drawing with a random comment generator and the winner will receive a hardworking man shirt or hat. Welcome back to Hardworking Man. Today we are in Boonville, New York at the New York State Woodsman's Field Days. Basically, they take over the county fairgrounds with anybody and everybody who is into wood processing, wood splitting, uh, big machinery. This is where you want to be to check it all out in person. Today, we're going to go around to all the companies that sell wood splitters, firewood processors, bundlers, anything that you're going to want to use in your wood yard. We're going to interview the owners. We're going to ask some questions that you might want to know and we're going to introduce you to some companies you might not have heard of. So come along with us as we get to know some of these manufacturers. All right, here we are with Andrew from Easton Made Wood Splitters and he builds everything from the Ultra up to, is the 48C your biggest processor? Yeah, right? we actually have one bigger than this, Heath. It's a 60C. It's got a 60 inch blade on it. So take, take a log that's 23 inches in diameter. It'll take a, take a big, big log. All right. How long have you been building wood splitting or wood processing equipment and what got you into it? We've been, uh, I've been building East to Made splitters for about eight years now. Before that we were building the Bell's firewood processors and we did that for about 15 years. And about two and a half years ago I bought my dad's business which was Bell's firewood processors and we rebranded them as East to Made. So I've, I've, been at, I've been at this a wee while. We've been, a little bit, huh? Yeah, and it was kind of, it's kind of a, uh, Kind of one of those things when Dad had bought Bell's Machine Shop. It was a local fabrication shop, machine shop, and uh, in 2008 everything got really slow, and that was it was a make work project. We didn't have any intentions of it actually turning into a turning into a whole lot, and here we are. Just made them, and everyone wanted them. Yeah, yeah, it's a supply and demand, I guess. All right, and what's your most popular splitter? What do you sell the most of? We probably sell the 1222 the most, but the 37D is coming really popular, and same as the Axes. Everybody really likes those two machines. Uh, Ever likes the precision of the axe, and it's a really comfortable machine to run. Uh, and the performance of 37D, it, it, it really flies. You can put a lot of wood out with it. Yeah, I know I love running the axes. If you guys watch our channel, you already know that because they're fun to run. But uh, what what have you built that you would say you're the most proud of? That you're like, I built that, or you know, obviously you have a team, but oh, we we have a. Honestly, I've I've just been fortunate enough that I've had that good of a team behind me to to put everything together, like. And that, that's probably the thing that I'm most proud of is the people we have working for us. Like, uh, we, we have such an amazing group of people and, and so many people that are that talented to work with us that it makes the job easy. It's so, it's so good to be able to innovate and have people that want to do that with you. So that, that's, pro that's probably the biggest thing is just having the team of people we got. And I will say I know you guys have fun at work because as you saw in one of our earlier videos, if you watched it, we had a voicemail with Andrew in the background just laughing. and. If you hang out with this guy, you're gonna laugh. It just it is what it is. So. <laughs> we have a lot of fun at work. We do we do have a good time. I've got I've got a pretty laid back group of people, and it's a it's a pile of fun. If you if you go to work every day and uh, and have fun and enjoy, you'll never work a day in your life. So I know you mentioned earlier in an earlier video that your lead time is gonna start coming down, uh, changing the process a little bit uh, yeah. maybe, and just getting caught up with all the orders. So what do you got the lead down lead time down to? And I also know you mentioned that prices are going to have to increase. So if you want to get one of these, probably order it soon before that happens. Yeah, you're probably going to see the price increase here in the next three or four weeks is when it's going to when it's going to come up. Um, the good news is is we can get you a splitter in uh, about 10 to 12 months right now. A processor is about six to eight weeks. There are two different schedules, but a splitter right now uh, we're down to about 10 to 12 months, where it was 14 to 16 for for a long time for us. So we've been we've been able to improve that drastically and. Uh, it's just the workflow and the process of the shop that's done it for us. We put a lot of time and effort into making that part of the, the like putting the machines together and developing them and setting them up the door. We put a lot of time and effort into making sure the shop's efficient, so it's finally starting to pay off now. All right, and I will say they're worth the wait. Yeah, what, what's the best way to get a hold of you to order? Just through the website or call? You just give us a call and Jerry, Jerry, Jerry with a G. I don't know if he's around here. Any oh, he's right over here. Jerry! He's got a shirt on today. Oh yeah, he's, he's wearing a shirt and everything. He's not even wearing a sweater, so that's even better. <laughs> but uh, Jer Jerry's, our, Jerry's our, our salesperson. He will take your order for a wood splitter. And uh, it's normally a $500 deposit. So we take a $500 deposit on the machine and then we take the balance of the of the, of the order before it ships. Normally three or four weeks before it ships, we will give you a call. And 
and just uh, ask you if there's any changes to the order, make sure we have everything correct on, and then we typically take payment at that time, or between that and the time the machine ships. So. All right, and you can ship all through Canada and North America, right? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, we can ship just about anywhere. We'll put them on a truck and we'll get them to you. All right, well, thank you. Yeah, thanks a lot, Heath. It was great to see you again, and hopefully, hopefully we do this before too long. Right. here and the first question we're gonna ask him is what's your best-selling splitter what do you sell the most of I think our 28 C is probably the most popular um, everybody wants to be like Mike Morgan I think right and, I didn't uh, that's, <laughs> yeah <laughs> that that was that was a big uh, factor um, but it's it's a nice fast machine it's not a super huge or high budget material you know high high-end machine but it's it's nice fast um, great for a homeowner and on, on into light commercial duty so yeah i will say that one because my buddy has that right the yeah. 28 c yeah. it's pretty easy to move around which when you start getting bigger yeah then you start that gets to be a factor yeah but, that gets to be a factor um another question we have is what have you manufactured that you're the most proud of i think it's just the brand and having a sustainable company i i don't know if anybody knows this i'm sure some people will but I lost my job and I had to sell my wood splitter to pay my mortgage. So for me to sell that splitter and have people interested in it and be able to, you know, now we've made 3,000 wood splitters, you know, to be able to have that, um, I think is the biggest thing I'm proud of. All right. Sure. Yeah, you definitely, I know, like back when I first started shopping for a commercial splitter, it was Wolfridge and Easton Made were probably the two biggest names in the right. game. Right. Yep. And uh, yep. What? Well, I Thank think you. you sort of already answered this one, but what okay. got you into building splitters? I yeah, think you already and, answered yeah, it. Yep. I I actually um, a buddy of mine had a tractor and a place a piece of property where we could go out and split wood. Um, I wanted to build a splitter just that was faster, not like the box store machines. And so I ended up building one for myself and uh, it went r really well. Um, it uh, was made so that I could tow it over to his place. We'd use his tractor, his, you know, his property and fill up our dump truck and, and off we went. So something we could do real fast. All right, and then uh, what's your favorite machine that you build? Like the one that just makes you say, wow. Um, I'd say the, the SHO is, you know, the fast cycle time, the big horsepower. Um, you can put in, pretty much put any kind of wood in it and, and come out in little chunks. So um, the SHO, the highway towable unit, I think is the best. All right. Yeah. And then you do elevators? Yeah, we is do the elevators. A, and Is that a big portion of what you sell? or is I would that... say it's probably getting to be about 20% of our sales. And then like the grapple bucket over here, that's another, you know, big portion now. Yeah, that now, built so. like a tank. Yeah. And that's all AR400, right? Yeah, that's yeah, right. I do remember yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> and yep. then uh, the bagger, I think. Well, you did say the, there's the little tray bagger that's out there, but yep. as far as that style bagger, I think right. you're the only one making those, right? It was something we really wanted to have dialed in where it was easy to use, cheap, no power required. And uh, I think it turned out really well. I think it did so, too, from what yeah. I've seen on them. Yeah. So. Yeah. Should we just unbag it and throw it in there quick? Yeah. All right. All right. Like the biggest pieces first, and then stuff the the smaller ones in around it, around those. I think the biggest problem with the bags is loading and and snagging on the bag. Right. So, yeah. Yeah, I do know from what I've seen on these, they 
go pretty quick, like especially yeah. once you get a system and get used to it. Yep. Yep. I always start with the big pieces first, and then uh, you can wiggle the smaller pieces in. And even if it's sticking up like that, um, once you flip it over, they're all going to kind of self-center right on that uh, bucket and flip into the bag. So slide that over. And then another thing we were talking about is not just your regular firewood, but smoker chunks. You can fill the bucket yeah. with smoker chunks and dump that in. Yep. And, and uh, I didn't even think about that when, when we first started making them. But yeah, it makes total sense to all those end cut pieces, yep. chunk them up, throw them in, and you got a $15 bag of That's, I've been doing like waste product. Bags of my smoker yep. chunks that I specifically make for smoker chunks. And then like the end cuts, like a buddy from work is like, can I get small pieces for they got a sauna that sure. runs off them or the new solo stoves. Like, so instead of just either burning that at home like we do, you could bag it up and make more yeah. money off from your odds and ends. So especially with the popularity of the smokeless stoves and everything coming Absolutely. out. Smokeless Absolutely. Absolutely. So. Yeah, to finish this off, then we just tip it over. The wood's going to come out. And I don't know what we're snagged on here. It's going to come out like that. And then a second person could be tying them while you're grabbing more wood and uh, filling this bucket up again. So kind of a one person or two person operation. And like I say, no power required. So it's, it's nice and easy, portable. You can carry it around, uh, around the yard, so. All right, real quick, back with Chris at Wolf Ridge. Two things we missed out on yesterday. What are your current lead times on your splitters and your conveyors? Uh, right now we're at about a 12 to 14 week lead time on our splitters and then I believe the conveyors are about 10 weeks and of course we do have the dealer network where you can get some uh, some find some units that are in stock as well. And then you're sort of changing up how people can order your splitters right as a, so I know in the past you could order say the Pro 28C and then you could get a Magnum package and different stuff and you've sort right. of changed that or are changing that right? Yeah we actually uh, we found that 90 percent of the people would order it with all of those options anyways so we just decided to add those in, make the, uh, the purchasing on our end a little easier. Um, and I think the guys will be a lot happier with the end result, um, having all those nice, nice fast features, uh, creature comforts, if you will. And uh, I think it'll be a lot better product in the end. All right, well, thanks again. Absolutely, thanks for stopping by. Yep. splitters, processors, elevators, and we've got Matt with us here, you're the owner, and uh, just got a couple questions for him like we've been doing with all the log splitter manufacturers. So uh, what got you into building log splitters? Like what got you started into this? Well, I was uh, in the logging and fire business myself years ago out west in Colorado and just uh, frustration with not having the machine set up the way I wanted. Uh, started building my own stuff for my own use and some people wanted to buy some things from me and decided that's more fun than doing firewood so <laughs> right I mean I like doing firewood but I, oh, I still like doing these. firewood <laughs> yeah don't get me wrong there but yeah it's, the engineering is kind of kind of excites me so right okay and uh, your best selling splitter what would the, what's what's your number one uh, selling splitter the alpha 6 which is what we got right behind us here uh, this is we've been making this now for six years this is a fourth model or rendition of it, but uh, yeah, this is one of, one of the best selling 20 horsepower splitters on the market, and it's our, our bread and butter right here. All so. right, and made in the USA, still all Honda engines? Yeah, Honda engines made uh, right here in New York, about two hours south of where we're at in a little town called Marathon. Uh, plate steel comes in one end of our building, and finished product goes out the other end. So we do a lot of our own components. Uh, we make our own hydraulic cylinders, sprockets. Uh, we really get quite involved in the build. So. All right, and then on the Alpha Six, you can you've got the box wedge here, I see, and it can also be a four or six way. Yeah, just a standard four six way splitter. Really easy to change out. Takes five minutes. All right, and then you've got the different sizes of box wedges, right, for different diameters: two and a half, three and a half, and four and a half. Was it? That's right. Yeah. All right. 
Um, I guess what have you manufactured that you're most proud of over the years? You know, I gotta say it's the Alpha 6. This one, the Alpha 6. This, this is a lot of fun to run this machine. It, it just really chews through big blocks like nothing else, so. All right, and then you've got from some smaller, like is it more homeowner style yeah. but higher end, up we, to big processors, processors, right? Yeah. And then the elevators also, and everything is the uh, belt, right? Either paddle or the rough surface. That's right, yeah. Uh, what's your current lead time right now, and how do people order online through the website, call, or? Yeah, we have multiple ways. You can call into the office, talk to one of their salespeople, or you can go right online, click some buttons, enter your credit card, and order right there. You'll get, uh, you know, delivery confirmation within 24 hours. Right now, we're between three to five weeks, depending what you order on lead times. Put in a quite a bit of stuff over the last six months, new burn tables, paint booths, so we've upped our capacity to kind of keep up with demand, so. All right. Well, thank you. Yep. American Log Splitter Company and we've got Larry with us he's the owner and we're gonna just ask him a couple questions here so how long have you been building log splitters and what got you into it well I've been at it myself for almost 18 years this is a business that actually some 55 years old and quite frankly uh, what got me into it is that it was time to put on a pair of jeans after living a corporate world and uh, selling M&Ms and Snickers and all kinds of crazy things and uh, I had a great friend that was in this business and uh, rolled my sleeves up. My wife and I both own the business and uh, blink of an eye it's been almost 17, 18 years. All right yeah. and what uh, what have you built that you're most proud of? A product that is really truly a quality American built product. We employ Americans we work our tails off to make sure as many of the components that we have on these machines are in fact made here in our country. We're big on that. And uh, I guess the other thing is that the original founder of this business, I sat at his kitchen table and he said, if there's one thing you do the right way, Larry, and that is build a quality product. Don't cheapen it because you're under some kind of pressure. And, and we've abided by that our, our whole lives, you know. All right. And what would you say your best-selling machine is? Well, we're standing around a high boy machine, which is powered with a 270GX Honda. Um, it by far is, you know, our bread and butter kind of a machine. It crosses between people that just want a quality build as well as they might have a small commercial idea in their head and it can withstand all that kind of usage. All right, and then you build log splitters and conveyors? We do. Um, those are also sold out here on the Sunday, but um, we make three different sizes. They're all steel constructed. There's no belt systems in our setups. Uh, being in the Adirondacks and the Vermont Mountains and New Hampshire, weather of all kinds is a pretty normal thing, and we believe that two rows of T-Link chain and 27-inch wide uh, trough is the way to go, and that's what we build. And one last question, what are your approximate lead times on your splitters and conveyors? Currently, uh, if you look at all of our splitters, they're six to eight weeks. All right. And uh, conveyors are typically more like 10 to 12 weeks. 
All this right. time of year, you know. That's right. Coming into yeah. fall, it's probably going to pick up a little yes, bit. Sir. And yeah, that's everyone right. says they need firewood for winter in the fall. So. Yeah. Where was everybody like in June? I don't know. Right. So, All right. And what's the best way for people to get a hold of you if they want more information on some of your splitters or your conveyors? Would you like me to provide the number? Sure. I yeah, can you can that. put the phone number, and we'll put the links to all these businesses down in the description also. Okay. The area code 315-773-4460 is our phone number. And certainly when you call us, you'll get an owner. It's Sue, my wife, and I. So that you can count on. And then the other is we have a, a website, um, and we have uh, an email, which will be info at AmericanCLS.com. All right, and Larry said they deliver all across the U.S., and yeah. if you order one soon, you may be able to pick it up at the Paul Bunyan Show in Ohio if that works out better for you. Just get a hold of Larry or his wife at American Log Splitters. All right, well, thank you, Larry. Thank you. Appreciate you stopping. Yep. Josh, the owner of Brute Force, and we're going to ask him the same questions we asked some of the other owners. What got you started into building this equipment, the firewood processing stuff? So it started in the 90s. My dad was a diesel mechanic for a local dealership around our area. Well, long story short, he got hurt in a work accident, and he had to have his back views. So we got into installing outdoor wood stoves, heating systems, that kind of thing. So we did that for quite a few years, 10, 15, well, not even 10 years. It was probably six years or so. And we were looking for something to do in our off time, you know, because you only install systems underground lines in the summertime. Right. So we were looking at buying a firewood processor. And we were getting around. We, were, we had our mindset, and we heard up about a new new startup company. I won't I won't say any names. But we, uh, we set up. A time to meet with them. We bought their very first machine they ever built. We became a dealer. We sold a pile of their machines over the years. It was seven or eight years we were essentially a distributor for them. And there was just some things that they were set on and they didn't want to improve. All right. So we were like, well, we, we kept bringing it up in meetings and the one owner goes, if you don't like the way we're building them, build them yourself. So here we are. <laughs> we're in it. I think we're at 15 years now All right. building the equipment. All right, and then like, what would you say, like owning and running your own business, like what are you most proud of? Uh, the fact that we are, are a family owned smaller business. Um, we're not a corporate owned conglomerate, I guess. Um, we, we try to keep things fun, lighthearted around the shop. Um, and in doing that, we've grown some really great relationships with our customers. We got guys that, you know, have our equipment that go to our church. Um, and then in, in that aspect too, you know, we're able to help our community out a lot because we're, we're small town. Right. Um, we do a lot with our veterans and, and uh, it's just nice because we can, we can keep it personable. Yeah, I yeah. think a lot of the firewood community likes that. They like yeah. the get to know the owner, meet with the owner. If you have a problem, you can talk to the owner. And I think that's a big thing. So. Yep. And so you build anything from commercial processors to splitters to grapples to bundlers, like so on and conveyors, everything. But uh, so well, let's say log splitters and processors. What are your current lead times? Uh, wood splitters, we are depending on the model. The smaller, like the semi-pros, we usually try to do them in batches so we have models available all right. essentially at all times. Um, we're getting low as we speak right now because AJ had a heck of a show here. But the semi-pros usually under six weeks. Um, the bigger commercial splitters, 2024s with the conveyors and the 2624s, we're 16, 18, 20 weeks out. It kind of depends on time of the year. 
Uh, small processors, we are right around the 15 to 20 weeks. All right. Um, and then the bigger machines, around the 16 to 20 weeks also. Um, just And we're going into a busy time of the year now, so it, it'll start stacking up and stacking up as we get towards November, December. What's your most popular log splitter that you sell? What one do you get sell the most of? Um, wood splitters, I would say right now our, our new model, the Semi-Pro, is the hot ticket. All right. Um, they're super heavy built and everybody likes them because they're simple. Um, the processor side, the 14s are really hot right now because the way the economy is, the bigger units, they, they kind of tapered off. And everybody, I was talking with Easton Maid and they said they, they experienced that too. The bigger, higher price machines slow right. down with the economy right now and the interest rates. But the 16 or the 1424s are really hot and the 18, uh, 1824s, they're kind of like our, our most popular machine because they'll, they'll fit a, uh, a rental center or they'll fit the commercial guy. All right. What's the best way for people to get a hold of you to order? Is it through your website, through a, a Facebook page or a phone number? Um, any of the options, really. Um, we like the website because it tracks all of our, our uh, potential customers and records everything, so it's easier for us. But shoot me a message. If you got my cell phone number, you can contact me there almost any time. Um, yeah, Facebook, where we try to stay right on top and get right back to you. If not, that same day or the next day. All right, well, thank you. Yeah, no problem. He's one of the salesmen for Dyna Products. They're based out of Michigan, which I was happy to see as we're walking by. So is the blue and gold for Michigan? That's right. All right. <laughs> That's yeah. what we were guessing. Yeah. Um, so tell us a little bit about the company for those who have never heard of Dyna Products. Sure. So Dyna Products is a builder of firewood processors, obviously, and um, we built four basic models. Uh, we started as a custom machine building company over 25 years ago and we got a request many years ago to build a processor. The rest is history. We started getting more requests. We got into it full time and uh, that we don't build any other custom machinery. It's the processors and support equipment. What do you make? <laughs> so firewood processors that cut and split the firewood all in one machine. We have model 12, model 14, model 15, and 16. Our model 15 is our most popular because that is the model we use in our rental fleets. There's over 100 rental fleets in the United States that offer the processor. So it's a great option for the homeowner who cannot justify owning one. They can make life a lot easier by renting one and doing one or two years supply of firewood in one weekend. Nice. Yeah. 
Um, so what would you say is your most popular splitter? So uh, we do splitter. offer the small splitters too, yes. Yeah. Um, we do not offer them generally in rentals. Um, so behind us is the Model 16. That is our largest, fastest machine. Four cord per hour rating. And 15 being the one that's used most commonly in the rental fleet turns out to be the most popular too. But we do have smaller ones. We have homeowner size up to this commercial one behind me. Okay, and so the best way to for them to order with you, is there a lead time to get them? Yeah, all models are in stock right now. So give us a call. We can have one to you next week. Um, <laughs> way to give us a call, www.dyna-products.com is the website. The uh, phone number is 866-345-4433. Um, give me a call and we get you set up. Okay, well thank you. Thank you very much, my pleasure. All right, now one of the things that uh, piqued my boy's interest is they saw you had a bundler over here. So tell us a little bit about this bundler and what makes yours unique. Sure. So obviously this bundler is to produce small bundles of firewood, camp firewood, such like. Uh, we offer with each of our bundlers three of these preload trays. So you can take them to your wood pile, fill them up. We call them the speed loaders and uh, they are conveniently marked with the cubic foot measurements for 14 and 16 inch wood so you know that you're giving a precise and a fair amount of wood to your customer based off what you're marketing. Um, so obviously you fill, fill the preload cradle, you bring it over and drop it down through here. The wood stays suspended between these two yokes and your cradle is empty ready for pre loading again. We have a foot pedal control that will take the shrink wrap around. A couple of things that set Dyna's bundler apart from others. We have a very rugged design with a heavy cast four inch bearing in the back. And we have a, there is this poly bushing design. So it puts even pressure on either side of your roll of shrink wrap, giving you a nice tight stretch wrap and a square bundle that stacks very nicely, whether you're marketing it and shipping it out by pallets or self-serve bin. It's a bundle that stays properly formed and isn't falling apart. There are some folks that will place a brochure, credit, uh, business card, or whatever in the wrapping process. So it's like weatherproofed right in and you get your name out to uh, folks that are looking for your product. AJ with Shaver Equipment and he's in a little bit of a unique situation because he's not a log splitter manufacturer but a dealer. So we'll have him tell us a little bit of, about the different brands, what his best sellers are and what got him into being a dealer. So I guess we'll start out with tell us a little bit about Shaver Equipment and what are the main brands that you offer for the firewood processing or wood splitting. Yeah absolutely. Well first off you have to note you have hard working man and you have working hard to be lazy. So that's our motto on the back of the t-shirt. So um, we actually rep for a couple of different manufacturers. Like he said, um, we're here at the Split Force booth. Across the street is Brute Force. Next to them is Halverson. I don't have the black splitter brand up here, um, but we do them. It's like a hydraulic cone splitter for working down the really big stuff. 
which I'll get into that later. And then of course we do the NNZ log lift bags. Um, we're the, the national distributor for those now. So we've done a great business with the log lift. They weren't really well known, but as you can see from the booths up here, we've got them all over the place and they work out so well because working hard to be lazy, I hate handling and rehandling firewood. So um, like I said, we're in here at the Split Force booth. Um, they do everything from like a towable model up to like these big 20-foot um, conveyor, or the 16-foot conveyor ones. Um, as you look at the sides of the machines, the numbers actually do mean something. So like we have a 1320 in gray behind us on the right. So that's actually a 13 horsepower Honda pushing a 20-foot conveyor. And like all the conveyors, half the overall length is your output height. All of the splitters, like the working table, the log lift, the vertical mass with the splitter, they're all the same. It's just a matter of what goes underneath it and what actually powers it. Um, as far as a popular unit, a lot of guys like the towable piece just because you can drive it back in the barn or back in the garage again. I think. Now here we are with AJ with his Helverson lineup, which I just asked him because I know a lot of guys talk about running these things on tractors versus skid steers, and we're standing right by the unit that they designed for that. So yeah. This is actually the new 100 from Halverson's and HWP 100. We kind of designed it for running on like your mini skid steers, your Vermeers, your ditch witches. You know, it still requires somewhere in that 15 gallon a minute phrase, or um, 15 gallons a minute, 2850 PSI. And like by us, everybody has a Kubota tractor, they have the common skid steer plate, but they're either short on the pressure or on the gallons per minute. So what Halverson did, they came out with a power pack that goes on the three point hitch. It's a 540 power pack, even has a little electric oil cooler on it. So it keeps everything at temperature. And between the two of these, you can get in and process wood around $10,000, $11,000, you know, with your tractor. Then we go into like the 120, the 140, the 150. Um, as you get bigger in the lineup, you kind of go 16 inch diameter, 18 inch diameter, and up to about 23 uh, inch diameter, but a hydraulically adjustable wedge. We can do um, a two way or a four way on the 100, four way or a six way on the 120, the 140, and the 150. The best seller is probably either the 120 or the 150 has been pretty hot because of the diameter size on the 150 and the 120 is hot because it's 10,650. So if you already have the skid steer, you know, I've got splitters on the brute force lineup that are over 10 grand and that's just splitting rounds, but you can get into a processor, you know, at 10.6. And now can the power pack run any of these units? Yes. All right. All right. Well, thank you, AJ. That's a heck of a lineup you got there. And we're going to put links to all the different manufacturers and the different, I guess, dealers in the description of this video. So you can click right to their site and get a hold of them if you need to. Absolutely. Here, this show. 